Welcome to healthymax.com. Today we see uh, the difference between the z-score and t-score when we're doing the confidence interval and hypothesis testing those type of questions, uh, which score we are able to use. Well, the first of all question is, uh, is population Is the population standard deviation given? But if uh, yes, or some of the question in the body clearly saying the standard deviation is from the population, then if that is the case, the second question we're asking is. Uh, Is the population normally distributed? Right. The question will some of the questions say, well, the population is normally distributed with uh, the standard deviation of whichever. Right. Then, if that is the case, the sample mean will follow the uh, z score, will follow the normal distribution. If we do not know that is normally distributed, we will check the sample space. Right? As the central limit theorem states that uh, if the population is normally distributed, we can make the sample mean follow the normal distribution by the central limit theory. Or if we don't know normal distribution, but sample size is large enough, it's still can approximate to normal distribution. But if size is big enough, can still approximate to normal distribution. Then, of course, uh, if it's not uh, neither cases, At least in our course, it's, this type of question cannot be done. Right? In, in some other in, uh, improved the course, uh, they are able to do it still. But our course will stop there. I cannot do this. The, that's the case that the standard deviation is known. It follows the normal distribution. No. If uh, the population standard deviation is not given, then uh, the question should provide us, well, sampling distribution should provide us a sample, should provide us the sample standard deviation. Right, but uh, how the distribution looks like is also the same question we asked, right? is population. normally distributed. If we know the population is normal, then we can use the t-score. Right, because we do not know the spread of the population, but uh, we know the spread of the sample, then we can approximate by the t-score of the distribution. If not the case, same thing. If size is large enough, We can use the T if no. It is also cannot be done. For the Z score here, our sample mean follows the normal distribution. If we know the population mean that uh, the sample mean has a population mean of the 
same population mean, then the standard deviation of the sample mean is the standard deviation of the population divided by our radical of size m, but which x bar follows the normal distribution. On the other side, when we do not know the standard deviation of population, we use t-score. Right? The sample mean follows the t-distribution. With, first of all, degree of freedom, is yes, uh, one decreased by the sample size. Still population mean is same, but the standard deviation we estimate by the sample standard deviation over 